Hello, my name is uh, Uwe Steinkraus and uh, I'm with the company uh, Unified Automation. We are doing software development kits for OPC UA technology to integrate OPC into existing software, into existing devices. Today I want to present um, in a series of five presentations the technology of OPC UA and I want to start with the information model. Um, the types and the instances inside OPC. As you maybe know, OPC UA was created in 2003 to 2006 and the specification was written in that time. And after that specification writing, there was a phase of implementing OPC UA to verify that the specification can be implemented in software. And uh, OPC UA is a communication platform to expose information and to consume information. So any kind of device can expose information through OPC UA, transport it over a network and then on the other side a system can consume this information with OPC UA. And uh, there was an OPC UA standard before OPC Unified Architecture. The, it was called the classic OPC. We have taken over the good things from the classic OPC and extended it. So OPC UA is the classic OPC feature set plus additional platform independent. You now can implement OPC on any kind of operating system on any kind of platform. And in addition we have we now use standard IP protocols for transporting the information. And we have built-in security features built into the core of OPC, not only for the transport, but also for the individual data points that are sit in an OPC server. So we have access rights down to a data point level. And in addition, we have this extensible type system we want to talk about in this presentation. We are scalable, so the OPC technology can be scaled down to a very small device like a simple sensor, but it can also scale up to very large systems with hundreds of thousands or millions of data points. And we have a migration path from the classic OPC to the new OPC unified architecture. Now, I want to start with the information model and the two base layers you can see here, the blue ones in the graphic, um, that is the OPC UA meta model and the built-in information models. OPC UA is an information-centric layered architecture to describe information. And we have basic rules for exposing this information. And we have a generic object model to describe any kind of system. And the built-in models of OPC describe data access information. We have built-in models for alarms and conditions. And we have built-in models for history of data, but also history of alarms. And we have programs, so we can invoke programs or methods. And we have a device description, so we can also describe the the data and the device. The nodes and references in OPC UA are described in eight node classes. And the classes can be extended, but the base classes defined by OPC UA are derived from the base node and uh, we have objects and object types, variables, nodes and references. And those have attributes uh, and properties and with those we can describe the information. Each node class um, has attributes and the nodes are interconnected with references. And with these references we can describe the relation between nodes. Here I have an example of an object type and the programmers would call this a class. So the analog measurement type in this example is a combination of the data access and alarms and condition built-in information model. Derived from the base object, the analog measurement type has, of course, 
the measurement itself, a variable, which is the most interesting information, obviously. And this variable has properties like the engineering unit or the range. Um, and in addition, the analog measurement type has an alarm, like a level alarm, for example, for high and low level alarms. And so this type generally describes any kind of analog measurement. With the instance of this object type, we now describe the concrete information in the system. In this example, we have a pressure measurement and two temperature measurements, and they are both coming from the analog measurement type. So as you can see here, the concrete information is now sitting in the instance of this analog measurement. And for example, if you want to display this information in a graphical display, uh, the style of this grift display is for all measurements the same um, and can be uh, done in a template or in a faceplate uh, of a graphic. And the concrete information, the values, they come from the concrete instance of this object. And if you want to have a different display, um, you can have it and you can create your own style on that display, but the concrete information again comes from the instances. And by this, an HMI system can display a thousands and hundred thousands of information of analog measurements, but only having one style for presenting the information. And this style belongs to the type. On top of the built-in information models of OPC, we now have companion models. So OPC UA has a definition how to describe information. But what information is described, that is now the job of the domain experts. Now robots or vision systems or injection molding machines, they have the information and this is now also described and can be standardized by the organizations for robots or for vision systems. The companion information uses OPC UA to describe their domain information. And then this is standardized, for example, with PLC Open for PLCs, with Bucknet for building automation, or with the VDMA for any type of different machinery. And on top of that, you can even describe information as well. Um, this is the vendor-specific extensions. If your machine has additional data outside the standard, you can also describe it with OPC UA. To summarize the OPC UA information model, it's an object-oriented concept to describe any kind of data, even complex data, and to expose this data and the metadata that belongs to it, and then this becomes information. So the consumer in the, of the information can fully understand not only getting values, also getting the description of the values, the types with it. The information is presented in a full mesh network. So we can describe the relation between data and not only in a hierarchy, it's a full mesh network. And we can express this information to the outside world because the references are also inside the information model. And the consumer can browse and navigate through this network and find out all the relations. The base model and the modeling rules are defined by the OPC Foundation and are inside the OPC Unified Architecture Standard. And on top of that, other organizations use this and define their information and creating it with OPC UA. And this is what we call the companion standard sitting on top of OPC. Thank you very much for listening. This was a presentation about the information model of OPC UA.